Good morning or afternoon or evening wherever you are. Okay, um hello, it is me, Melanie. Mm -hmm. How are ya? Today we are covering the third C. If you've um been listening to the other ones, we had um challenge which is what we first started with and then we had the second one yesterday which was commitment and today we are doing conviction now <clears throat> uh, they are different and we will discuss how that is why it is rather and um, how they work together in this video. So, how is conviction different than commitment and why is it necessary to strengthen your commitment and keep you on the right path to the finish line? Okay, so the dictionary says conviction means a firmly held belief or opinion. Conviction comes from self-belief and in turn is a firmly held belief. It is internal and leads to commitment Hold on. Let's see if I wrote this down wrong. Okay, um, what I wrote down was, I don't know if it's right. Uh, conviction is internal and leads to commitment, which is what the world sees and what you project as a leader. Okay, I just missed a word or two. I was writing it down. <laughs> That's what happens when you do short form. So i.e. conviction is inward and commitment is outward. So technically I guess I did these videos backwards. Uh, I should have done conviction first and then commitment but there is a reason I did so. And that is because sometimes conviction can be hard to come by. When you're first starting out, you may not feel convicted about very many things, especially like losing weight, unless um, right off the get-go, you um, found out you were gonna die or have so many days left or something. You know, that would lead you to having a strong conviction that you better do something, right? So, especially for those of us ADHD minds, we have a problem with low self-esteem. When you have a hard time having faith in yourself and not feeling capable of keeping a promise to yourself or anyone else, Hold on. Sorry. I don't know what's going on today. Why I can't read anything. Stay focused. Okay. When you have a hard time having faith in yourself and not feeling capable of keeping a promise to yourself, because that entails a long process down an unknown path. That may be why you are not feeling capable because the path is long and anyway I don't know what I was thinking <laughs> and this is not turning into a very good video is it anyway let's start again so much for saying can I say anyways or so as often as I do 
Okay, so we start doubting that we can stay focused long enough to see any results. And without results, to encourage us, we have no stronghold to keep going. That is why I recommend, oh, that's why I recommended in the first video about challenge, that we start building up and changing that mindset. By watching people like the ones I mentioned, the motivational speakers, um, you can resonate with them and in turn start to change your mindset. Finding people who think like you and want to up their game as you do to hang out with Finding people who think like you and want to up their game as you do to hang out with really makes a difference and puts you on the right game board. While we do need to have conviction, we can develop that doing the work every day. Putting only positive thoughts and videos into our brains. Taking the steps to actively change our mindset with affirmations, visualizations, and prayer. And reminding ourselves to slow down, take things in, find value in our surroundings, and in the encounters we have with other people. To not be so serious, but still stay centered and grounded in the belief that we are capable of doing anything we put our minds to. I have to remind myself every day of what I have and how far I've come from that point of despair and desolation I was in 20 years ago. I know that there is more for me. I can feel it deep within me. I'm not sure yet where I'm going to go, but I know I'm destined for greatness. In some way, some form, I am here on earth to share my light and gifts with the world. But in order for us all to reach that level where we can share and help those around us, we need to do the work on ourselves first. We need to learn to swim before we can save that drowning woman out there in the deep waters. But we can do it. We can do it. We all have it deep in our being. We need to find that conviction and use it with the promised commitment to tread onwards and upwards, onwards and upwards to that victory line. Okay, so hopefully it is clear to you now how we can use these two C's together to press on and further to completion. I didn't even get that sentence right. <laughs> okay, so hopefully it is clear to you now how we can use these two C's together to press on further to completion. What do you do when you can't read your own writing? pretty bad at <laughs> in the next video we will discuss how staying consistent in our efforts and actions daily will propel us further and further and truly embed that conviction deeper in us to put us in the winning mindset so we will have utter clarity and assuredness it is then that we will finally be able to walk over that finish line with head held high and arms spread wide in victory. To all you, my fellow warriors, champions of the Most High, I hear the chants of our kindred spirits as they propel us onwards, their face and our success blending as one with our own. For now, we know 
that we have left all things behind and are moving on to the new possibilities and adventures. Let's make the best of our days. Till next time, take care, be safe, and have fun.